Keeping you safe tonight, a new investigation finds an alarming number of daycares across the country are still using recalled sleepers linked to dozens of deaths. Team Charles Mike Gonzalez joins us live now with the information that you need to hear. Mike. Hey, good evening, Mark. A father noticing his son's daycare was still using these dangerous sleepers even after the recall, so he sounded the alarm. Adam Garber shocked to see his son's daycare still using the rock and play sleeper. At two months after the recall, it was still there in the infant room. The teacher telling him she had no idea 4.7 million of the sleepers were pulled from the market in April after being linked to more than 30 deaths. The daycare immediately stopped using it, but Garber, the consumer watchdog for the U.S. Public Interest Research Group, began investigating if this was an isolated incident. Looking at daycares across three states, the group found one in ten child care centers still using Fisher Price or Kids 2 sleepers, many saying they didn't know about the recalls. They were honestly shocked, confused, and concerned, and they wanted to keep those kids safe. Advocates say when a company recalls a product, it's often up to us to sign up for alerts and register products with the manufacturer. These companies have amazing direct marketing programs, and they directly target us. We see the social media ads, the Twitter ads, the online ads. So can't they use it to warn me about the danger in my home? The CPSC encourages everyone to sign up for alerts and says it notifies state agencies and licensed child care providers about the recalls. And Fisher Price and the Kids 2 Company says safety is their top priorities, and both companies say they notified consumers on multiple platforms. They also alerted retailers. Guys, back over to you. Mike, thanks.